Gentlemen, the man I'm about to introduce you to, to some people, needs no introduction. But he is Irish Pat Lawler. How are you doing? And tell my people about, first of all, your career and where, how are you doing now? And I admired you as a box, boxer. My career was uh, started in 1987. My last fight was 2005. Um, I got to fight 12 world champion fighters. Uh, I, I, uh, the, uh, not, but the last fight I trained for was Camacho, Hector right. Camacho, which was September 7th of 1994. Uh, and I was uh, signed a contract to weigh 150 pounds and it just, it, it really hurt me trying to make oh. weight. And uh, that was the last fight I trained for. So the other fights I I, I took, I didn't what train. What was your most memorable fight? What was the one oh, that the, you... the greatest fight was beating Roberto Duran. Yeah. Uh, Pay-per-view mm -hmm. mm -hmm. on a... a uh, at the, the Mirage, mm -hmm. Las Vegas, and it was a very easy fight. The fight, it just we scared easy. at first, like no, you know. no. We had done an exhibition here in, in the yeah. city mm -hmm. in 1989, and uh, you know it was it was easy. It was just it just went easy. He, uh, what do you think about how boxing's changed now? Is it? It worse. just, it still needs, as it did when I was fighting, excuse me, it needs sure. to have one world champion. Yeah. And when it has one world champion, it will get more respect, especially with things like the UFC mm -hmm. and things like, in which the competition is really, you really want to clear it up. I heard today that some, some promotion or something, Don King and Bob Arum were together, right. which... Hey, that's yeah. that's a step in the right direction. If they could pull together and have one world champion mm -hmm. and just split it down the middle or whatever, with the, 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 the you know the cost and the profits or whatever, uh, it would really help boxing get back one world champion. All the supers and juniors, because you don't want to kill yourself to make weight, but one that says world champion. Yeah. All the divisionals. I mean, all the uh, the regionals and, and the, the European champ and the, the North American champ and South American champ and blah 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 whatever. But one that says world champion, and you had 16 or whatever it is beat divisions down, mm -hmm. or 18, whatever it is, people wearing the world champion. They are right. the world champion, and everybody knows who the world champion is. What do you think There's of Mike no Tyson, argument. by the way, how he's, how he's coming along? Mike Tyson is, uh, you know, whichever. I, I have no... Uh, Mike Tyson was very nice to me. Yeah. yeah. He was very nice to me. He was... Uh, he's, he's, Looks like he's really picked himself up, huh? I, I really don't want to go. He, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I can't. I'll be right I, back. I, I, I'll yeah. be right back. You sit tight. Be right back. Okay, cool, man. Yeah. And, and, and I know him. I just don't want to, you know. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. We don't go back in, but folks, we're at, we're at La Roca's on Chestnut and Columbus. And it's an honor to meet you, my friend. No problem. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank no you problem. for the cocktails, man. Thank no, you no, very no much. Problem. It's an honor. Definitely. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. you At that video, that poem, okay. for my video, for my friend for yours. Okay, many people wonder, but few have been told, why some men step into the ring to fight for the gold. Maybe they come from the ghetto, fighting for a better life, or trying to put food on the table to feed their children and the wife. For some, you think it's all they know, they've been doing it for years, it makes them wonder how they've blown all their money, or just get by the cheers. As for myself, it was a tribute to honor a close friend who had died. Whoever thought my quest to win a belt would ever take me for such an amazing ride. You see, I've been in this sport for more than 20 years, and I've heard all the boos, the screams, and the cheers. I'm a veteran of this game, and you just don't play, which is why I'm writing this poem, so that I might say that it's a physical game of chess, with your board being a 20-foot mat. You know there's been a checkmate when the body is laying flat. Most of us remain buddies after we put it all out in the ring. A strange kind of friendship we share. It's more of a camaraderie thing. Now, if you're wondering who keeps these guys up after taking that first right cross on the chin, or it's either the kinky for the smell of leather or just that burning desire to win. So if you're ever rocked from pillar to post and your only fans from side of receipt, you just fire back with your best right hand and make sure you're first playing your feet. And when life starts to get funny, and the girls who once snubbed you suddenly begin to speak, 
Well, it's only because he got lots of money after reading the paper, but on a hot winning streak. She's a game that teaches you human nature. If you're the only player on the team, then after you've lost a couple back to back and your phone stops ringing, you sit back and wonder, was it all just some crazy dream? A dream in which I defeated in two of the sports very best, while gaining the middleweight title, which is at the peak of my own private quest. But outpointing Wolf of Benitez and stopping Roberto Duran were the two big wins that changed my life, turning the average Joe into a fan. And even though I lost at least a dozen or so more, defeating these two warriors seemed to be my ultimate score. Then soon it got to the point where I didn't want it anymore, being pimped on the globe like some cheap two-bit whore. Getting sick and tired of the opponent for higher tour, or remembering how it all started and what I was doing it for. Now some of my friends thought this idea of mine was kind of lame, trying to win a title in that rough, crazy game. I'm sure they didn't think I'd ever get too far. And this last thing they saw me, I was sitting with a rock band playing guitar. So I had to get myself in shape, a game of parties in order, to win the belt honoring the memory of my friend, my good buddy, Merlin Porter. And now that it's all behind me, I'm happy, relaxing at home. When a friend of mine calls and asks me to write this poem, to give you a view that's not from a sports writer, but rather from someone who's been with the best, a legitimate fighter. So I hope this poem has helped you to see if you're not in shape, the squared circle is the last place you need to be. You may soon find yourself here in those old bell chimes if you get this cardinal rule. Protect yourself at all times.